Active mobility like bike and scooter share schemes are ostensibly a good idea. It gets people out on the streets and out of their cars. Well, in some cities, there's a problem. In cities like Brussels and Paris, local tempers quickly fled when transport providers started doing business on the streets of the two capitals. The vehicles themselves are not the problem, of course, but the way they became new pieces of street furniture swiftly became the issue. To combat the haphazard nature of the new arrivals, city administrators have put in place new rules. They include dedicated parking spots for scooters and e-bikes, as well as no park zones to keep vehicles in areas where they are really needed, and to reduce clutter. The companies providing these services have also started to adapt. Their apps now often include guidelines on how best to navigate streets in a safe and considerate way. The idea is that users will become better, safer riders as a result. Sí que creo que algunos de los sistemas funcionan bien. Hay varios sistemas privados que yo personalmente uso que en general suelen funcionar bastante bien y los sistemas públicos creo que se han mejorado mucho en los últimos años. Creo que se han adaptado mucho más a convertirse en un medio de transporte que la gente usa de manera más continuada y no tan puntualmente como a lo mejor mi tipo de usuario, sino que pues conseguir bonos, eh, se están adaptando incluso desde eh, la implantación de bicis eléctricas, ahora tienes la posibilidad de incluirlo también en la bicicleta, o sea que creo que sí que se están adaptando mucho a la evolución del uso que hace que hace el ciudadano de, de la bici. I use bike, um, electric scooter and car share schemes. Um, and everything is coupled with my public transport subscription. I think I like to be able to choose different kinds of paths and methods of mobility that I can use, you know, depending on how, how far I have to go or how much stuff I'm carrying with me. The other big thing is people need to feel safe. You need to have protected cycle lanes. And once you have those, we've seen it, we've seen it since the coronavirus started, the, the numbers skyrocket. And all of a sudden people realize that, you know, the average city dweller drives 16 kilometers a day. Well, if you've got an e-bike, I guarantee you, you can cover those 16 kilometers faster, more comfortably and cheaper with an e-bike than you can in your car. So you're not asking people to make a sacrifice, you're asking them to improve their lives. So sharing schemes are a classic example of a great idea, but one which needs to be done properly in order to create the right transport ecosystem that benefits as many people as possible.